Hello and welcome. Just give a moment or two to let you land in the Facebook world live. <laughs> and welcome to Family Caregivers of BC Facebook Live this week. I am Kate Landreth, and I am the Education and Learning Lead with Family Caregivers of BC. And if you're new to Facebook Live, I've been offering mindfulness to our community for the last year. And I am always uh, so happy to offer um, any little mindfulness moments for, for you um, when you need it. So I'm going to start today just by giving some background of what Family Caregivers is up to this month. And so May is Family Caregiver Awareness Month. And I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge and to celebrate the wonderful unpaid work that caregivers do in BC. It's so uh, rewarding, but it's also challenging. And the care that you provide for family family members, friends, or neighbors is so incredibly significant. And so we thank you. And each week in May, we have a theme that we're talking to. And this week is mental health awareness. And we're talking about mental health and bringing awareness to it. One, because we all have mental health. And secondly, it helps to break down the stigma that arises around mental health. And without mental health, it's hard to have a sense of well-being. So no matter your age, it is worth talking to a professional. It could be your doctor, a nurse practitioner, a counselor, or you may feel uh, okay talking to a trusted friend, a family member, or a spouse about your mental health in the same way that you would talk about your physical health. So today. I'm going to offer a self-compassion break. And this practice specifically combines mindfulness, is the first kind of step. And then the second is common humanity. And common humanity looks and sounds like that we all have maybe different experiences in our lives, but um, the, the feelings or sensations, although at different times and, and different intensities, uh, they, that we all have them. There is a common humanity to being a human. And then the third piece is kindness. And the offering is to use this practice today just to start building that self-compassion muscle. Um, and then also to, to possibly use it when things and times are challenging in our life. So the practice today offers time to inquire and explore within. And as always, I'd like you to take what feels nourishing to you. So if anything doesn't feel right or it feels too much, um, you can open your eyes if they're closed. You can move your body in a way that feels good to you. Or you may just tune out my words and continue focusing on your breath. So the breath can be a really uh, helpful tool to help us feel grounded and safe and calm. So first and foremost, listen to yourself and let yourself be the guide of your experience. Really important. My inspiration this morning came from the Canadian Mental Health Association and Foundry BC. And they're both amazing resources for mental health. And the aim is to bring some awareness to the feelings or sensations to help tame them. In the Foundry BC, they, they wrote recently that heavy feelings get lighter when we put them into words. 
And I use this analogy with youth when speaking about mindfulness, especially, especially bigger emotions. But I feel like it's just as applicable to adults. It's like looking for that scary monster under the bed or in the dark closet. So that when we start to shine our flashlight on these emotions that might seem scary or they might seem dark, that they start to not be as scary anymore. We might start to uh, lighten the feelings. So with that, I'd like you to take a comfortable position. So this might look like you're sitting upright in a chair or laying down on your back. Or some people even prefer standing. So setting up your body to practice your an offering or something to consider. Is that a shape that is alert so that we stay awake? And some a shape that's also easeful so our body isn't uncomfortable or too rigid. And know that at any time in your practice, you can adjust. You can take a breath and take a moment and then make an adjustment that feels right for you. So today I chose to sit in my chair. And if you are seated, you can uncross your legs and ground your feet. You might find your spine against the back of the chair and your head stacked over your shoulders and hips. Resting your hands in a way that's easeful in your arms. And you might bring your gaze forward and down, or you might want to completely close your eyes or play with both of those. Just choosing and setting up to practice. And invite your attention to land on your breath. And with that conscious awareness, you might naturally start to deepen your breath. Or it might feel welcoming to take a few cleansing breaths. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. Noticing your chest and your belly as you take a breath in. And as you exhale out. And the best you can, finding a rhythm of breath that feels natural to you. And as I take you through this inquiry, that gentle reminder that you can come back to your breath at any time and keep coming back as a focal point that can help to support your mind and your nervous system to find a place of ease or pause, that safe place for you. And if it feels safe to you, the first inquiry is to think of a situation in your life that is causing you stress, such as a health issue, a relationship issue, 
a work problem or some other struggle. And choose a problem in the mild to moderate range, so not a big problem. We want to build the resource of self-compassion gradually. So thinking of building that self-compassion muscle with practice and time and repetition. So choosing a situation in the mild to moderate range that might be causing you some stress. Visualize the situation in the backdrop of your mind. What is the setting? What words are being spoken and to who? What is happening or what might happen? Take a nice big breath in and a slow exhale out. You might offer yourself these words. This is a moment of struggle or this is a moment of suffering. So bringing mindfulness to the situation. And please pick words that resonate with you. So maybe this hurts, or this is stressful, or this sucks. Just acknowledging. And again, keep coming back to your breath, even as you explore things that might feel a little sticky. Learning to create this self-compassion muscle. Next, you might offer your yourself words that sound like Struggle is a part of life. Or again, words that work with you to embody that common humanity. I'm not alone. Or other people experience this just like me. And as we touch in on that mindfulness and the common humanity, it might feel right to you to find a gesture that is caring and soothing to you. So maybe it's a hand on the heart or resting your hands together on your lap or maybe one hand on your belly and one on your heart or both hands on your belly. Just taking what feels right. And again, acknowledging that this might be a moment of struggle and that I'm not alone.
taking nice full breaths and creating that container of safety for you. And the next and last part of our self-compassion break is offering words of kindness to yourself. And again, I'll suggest some, but pick the words of kindness that resonate with you or that support you. So may I be kind to myself. May I give myself what I need. And you might choose to keep the hands in a gesture that feels like a soft embrace or kindness. May I forgive myself. May I be patient. May I accept myself as, as, as I am. But making the words work for you. And just a note that sometimes this last piece of kindness can be difficult. And sometimes it doesn't always feel sincere or authentic if the practice is new is coming and being kind to our selves. So something that really helps me is to consider uh, a dear friend that's in need and having the same situation or problem. What would you say to that person? And what would you say to support them and care for them? And you may then see if what you would offer them, you can offer yourself. And come back to those words of kindness and taking your time and taking some deep breaths.
And bring your awareness to your breath. And again, it might feel comforting to sigh your breath out. Do a self-compassion break or practice. We hold this space or container to inquire, to inquire maybe something that might be of struggle. And then practicing mindfulness to bring your attention there and acknowledge it. To practice a soft gesture or attention that maybe other people might experience something similar so you don't feel so alone. And to practice compassion and kindness to ourselves. So that we keep coming back, we keep coming closer inward to create that safety and ease. So please take a few moments, slowly, slowly, there's no rush your eyes were closed to open them, if they were gazing downwards to bring them up. And you might choose to move your body in a way that feels good to you. You might start to just orient yourself in the room by looking around and bringing yourself back. You might find a final gesture that closes your practice. And again, it might be hands at heart, hands on belly, hands in your lap. I'm taking a deep breath fully in and completely out. I'd like to thank you for joining the self-compassion break today, this morning. And an offering to practice and practice and practice. So take the time to cultivate that self-compassion muscle and allow yourself to be a slow learner with it. Sometimes it takes time to find the words or that gesture that works for you. It might change. So thank you. Thank you for bringing awareness to your body and your mind. 
And uh, in the chat below on the, on the screen, there's some great resources for mental health. And we invite you to explore them and be in contact with our organization, Family Caregivers of BC, if you need support from us. Have a wonderful day.